first of all, if you are not connected to any of central sort of electronic com uh, communication, this would be a good time to do that. If you're on Facebook, you can like our page on Facebook. If you're not on Facebook but are on the internet, you can go to our website. Um, so find that centralumcendicott.org is available. Um, if you are not on the internet but you do email, um, you can call the office and make sure you get on our email distribution list. And I say all that because we are posting updates on Facebook, on the website, and we can, we'll be sending out email updates as well. So if you're not connected in any of those ways, you might think about that. Um, because the situation with the virus is evolving, as we know. Right now, if you have seen any of those things, I, people are like sanitizing like crazy in here. Um, <laughs> if you have seen any of those means of communication, um, you will know that as of now, until the governor or the bishop tells us to suspend worship, we will continue to have worship here and in this space because in a big space, we can practice the social distancing thing. You can sit three to four feet away from people you don't live with. Um, <laughs> if you live with them, you're, I mean, not, no, I'm not getting into that. Um, that's your decision. Uh, but anyway, uh, you really should be practicing safe distance between uh, folks you don't live with. Oh, Linda's already gone. She's moved from her usual side to over here. She's really distancing. Oh, well, yeah, and here I am calling attention to you. Linda's here. We can start. Um, so uh, it, events uh, where we can practice that kind of safe distance will go on. Um, we're evaluating Shepherd's Supper, but again, you can spread out in there, um, but that's an ongoing evaluation. Cafe Central, um, they're planning to keep putting something on between worship services because, again, you can spread out. Um, we'll play that week by week, um, depending on who's available to make it happen uh, and who comes to worship. Small meetings. If we have committee meetings, team meetings, um, we can certainly set you up with a conference call if you do not feel comfortable meeting in person. We can, we can give you the information to have conference call meetings uh, if you feel that meeting is really necessary and you can't postpone it. We're doing staff parish that way this week, I believe. Um, smaller groups where, where people tend to be um, very close together are being postponed. So. You will hear as Bonnie does announcements, but I'll, I'll do a, a prequel for that. Um, our mid lent event this week is canceled. Um, the circle meetings, uh, two of them have been canceled. Uh, three of them, Deborah canceled as well? Okay, so uh, all three circle meetings this week have been canceled. Um, those kinds of things where we can't do the safe distance um, and where people might be at risk, we're just postponing. Um, Sunday school, adult and children's Sunday school has been sort of canceled until East, after Easter. Um, we just want to keep s people safe. Um, however, however, we are still called to worship God and to seek God's help and to be in prayer and to be the community of faith together, which is why we will continue to worship. Um, you can, if you don't feel comfortable being out in public or in groups, you can stay home and not feel guilty about it. Um, you can tune in, like on, on cable, on Sundays and Mondays. Um, you can find us, if you're on the internet, you can live stream us at 11 o'clock. If you miss the 11 o'clock window, you can find us on YouTube and find our services. So there are all sorts of ways to participate in worship without being here if you don't feel comfortable being here. So we're going to just keep on going with that. We don't want folks to panic, um, but we want to be the place where we can find comfort together and support each other and be God's people together through whatever comes. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know. This is, it's this thing where, like, we're sneezing and coughing and going, no, it's not COVID. It's not COVID. I promise. So, um, in the meantime, we are here. 
for worship. God has brought us together in this time and this place. Um, our worship service looks a little different than the bulletin because some things have had to be rearranged. You will find in the coming weeks that the worship outline is going to look different. We're making some changes. I'm not going to be having children's time because um, we just want to keep that distance, you know. Um, choir may not be singing. Those kinds of things will be happening and we'll probably move to an abbreviated worship service. So just stay flexible, stay loose. And know that we are doing what we can to be God's people in this time and place. The Holy Spirit is with us. Whether two of us are here or 35 or 50 of us are here, the Holy Spirit is here filling our hearts with God's presence and peace. We have come to worship. Let us worship with all our hearts. Welcome to worship. <laughs>